Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week, a very special behind the scenes tour of wind shear. That's here in Concord. Amy's going to tell you a little bit about that in just a second. We've got a lot of information, a lot of things to talk about. So grab that pen and paper. You can jot it down. But if you miss it, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Well, as David said, we are at Widshear here in Concord, and um, this facility has been in operation here for a year, and we have the wonderful privilege of actually being inside the massive wind tunnel here. You can see the huge fan behind us, um, and this is where they do a lot of aerodynamics testing for um, the automotive industry and for motorsports. Now, Wind Shear's 180 mile per hour rolling road wind tunnel is the first of its kind in North America, and it's, the, it's only the third rolling road wind tunnel of its scale in existence. And it's also the world's first commercially available full scale rolling road wind tunnel of its type. Now, the facility is available for hire to motorsports teams and auto manufacturers, and the wind tunnel accommodates full-scale vehicles and provides constant air speeds up to 180 miles per hour with temperatures controlled to within one degree Fahrenheit. Now, the high-tech rolling road is 10 and a half feet wide and 29 and a half feet long, and it's able to accelerate from zero to 180 miles per hour in less than one minute. Now, the road is actually a continuous stainless steel belt that is just one millimeter thick, and it can, it's designed to last up to 5,000 operational hours, or up to 248,000 miles. This is, this is, the technology is amazing. Um, during testing, through the belt sensors measure the aerodynamic downforce under each tire. Now, wind shear, as I said, has been op in operation here for a year. We had the opportunity to come out here when right. they first opened and tour the facility. Um, they continue to make many improvements to the wind tunnel, offering even more features um, to the automotive and, and the motorsports industries. And um, even though they don't do public tours, we have the special opportunity of, right. of getting kind of behind the scenes today. But um, they did have the summer, they um, hosted the summer camp experience for high school students. Um, to to allow them kind of see some of the aerodynamics. So I know it was a wonderful opportunity for um, those kids who were involved in that experience. For more details on Wind Shear, um, you can go to their website at windshearinc.com. I hope they don't turn it on. I know, I, that's what <laughs> I was thinking. I hope day. everyone knows that we're in here because we'll just be blowing out the buildings. <laughs> but it's pretty amazing though because the information that these uh, the car manufacturers get, I mean, in racing, I mean, just, you know, seconds being faster right. makes all the difference right. in the world. So this is, this is a really cool facility out here. Now, if uh, you have gently used books that you or your children don't, no longer need, please consider cleaning off some of those books and uh, from the bookshelves there and donate them to the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library for its used book sale. Now, proceeds from the used book sale will support purchase of materials for the library and all special programs, which they have throughout the year. Yeah, lots of programs. Lots of them. Now, donations can be brought to the uh, Cabarrus County Public Library in Kannapolis. A tax receipt will be given for your donations. For more information, just call the library at 704-920-1180. And that's pretty cool that you get a tax receipt yeah. so you can take it off from your taxes. That's right. Well, after a large turnout last month, the Cabarrus County Senior Center is planning another Trash and Treasure Yard Sale, Craft Sale, and Business Expo for October. Individuals or organizations can rent a booth to sell new or used items. A booth rental for individuals costs $15, and organizations can rent a booth for $25. Now, the Yard Sale, Craft Sale, and Business Expo will be held Saturday, October 3rd from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. at the Cabarrus County Senior Center, and proceeds will benefit the Cabarrus County Senior Center's trust fund to provide more services to the county's aging population. You can call the Cabarrus County Senior Center at 704-920-3484 for more information or to register for a space. That's another department that does a tremendous oh, yes. amount of different uh, programs and services throughout the county. Many needs there. Absolutely. Now, you know, this is, Amy, this is my favorite time of the year because yeah. it's, it's fair, fair time. There you go. Okay, the Cabarrus County Fair is rolling into town on September the 11th for an eight-day run. Now, you can save up to as much as $7 per person by purchasing advanced tickets at uh, Concord Mills. Now, just stop by the guest services desk. 
Now, Advanced Ride wristband vouchers are $15 and they're $20 at the gate. Advanced Adult tickets for ages 12 to 64 are $5 and that's $7 at the gate. Now, you can only buy your Advanced tickets up to September the 10th because then it's not the Advanced anymore. That's the fair right. is here, okay. So you can also purchase discount tickets at the Cabarrus Arena and Events Center box office Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. And uh, for details, just log on to CabarrusCountyFair.com. And this year, the fair, all kinds of, we got the Embers, they like beach music, they're going to be here. Jake Owen, yes. who is this really up-and-coming country star. Oh, yeah, he's he's hot, great music. And the concert is actually going to be in the arena right. this year. So indoor, great seats. It's going to be an awesome show. We've got all kinds of high-flying canines, but I mean, great yes. frisbee tricks. Yes. And, uh, of course, the pig races. You can't forget the yeah. racing pigs. Yeah. And, and all the agriculture, um, come out, bring the kids for the oh, petting yeah. zoo. and to see all the farm animals. You can even milk a cow. Oh, so I know. It's a wonderful experience for all those kids, especially like mine, who um, kind of grow up on the concrete that I uh, kind of get, get a taste of uh, where our food actually comes from right. and uh, a little bit about agriculture. So it's a great experience. It is. If you haven't done it, got to come out. And if you have, come out again. <laughs> That's right. Well, this, there's some really cool things going on at the Senior Center um, for the Friday night dances. At the Concord, um, Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, they're going to have a ballroom dance blitz um, this Friday, September 4th from 8 to 11 p.m. And the Jerry Goodman Trio will be there to perform the music. And uh, you can bring your favorite partner and test out some of your ballroom dance dance. And if uh, you want to learn some new steps or you've never tried out ballroom dancing before, you can still come out because during the breaks there will be demonstrations and instruction in ballroom dance. So lots of fun there. But if you want a little bit of a faster pace, want to uh, kick up your heels a little bit more for the Friday night dance, and head over to the Senior Center in Mount Pleasant again this Friday, September 4th from 8 until 11 p.m. And the Classics will be providing music there for this dance. Admission for both dances is $5 at the door. For details, you can call the Senior Center at 704-920-3484 or log on to cabarrascounty.us slash aging. Now, if you want to have some input into like one of the new parks that's coming online here in Cabarrus County, got a great opportunity for you. Cabarrus County is planning a new community park, and that's for the southeast region of the county. Now, it's 190-acre parkland is on a beautiful site filled with trees and features a large pond and creeks and all kinds of other natural amenities. Now located off Highway 601 near Wallace Road in Midland, this park is being planned as a destination really for the entire region. Yes. Now the county wants your input on how to develop this parkland to best meet the recreational and leisure needs of all the citizens here in Cabarrus County. So now the first community meeting will be held on Wednesday, September the 9th at Bethel United Methodist Church at 1200 12700 Idlebrook Road in Midland. Now drop in anytime from 7 until 9 p.m. Now park planners will share a map of the park property and describe the property's natural features. Then the public will be uh, asked to share their ideas about the types of recreational and leisure activities that uh, should be included in this regional park. To learn more and stay updated on the park development, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash park slash news and updates dot html. Great. And on that website, uh, there's a link there. You can see uh, some photos of this park property. And it is a beautiful, beautiful park property there. Um, it's about the size of Frank Bliss Park. Mm. So it's, it's a large park. It will be kind of a regional destination. And um, are looking for ideas from the public of right. kind of unique features that we might not have at some of the other parks in Cabarrus County that you would like to see there. So um, please do get involved in that discussion and, and let us know what you'd like to see see there at our new county park. Absolutely. Well, you can uh, bid your final farewell to summer this weekend. I can't believe the summer oh, is no, almost so... over. Um, Labor Day is coming up. And uh, for the, the last farewell to summer, you definitely need to take one last dip in the pool. So make plans <laughs> to come out to the pool at Camp Spencer Park. Um, they are open through Monday, September 7th for the season. Hours are 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. daily, except for school days when they are open from 4 until 8 p.m. 
Admissions $4 for adults or $2 for senior citizens and children 5 to 12 years old and uh, kids under 5 will get in free. Now while you're out at Camp Spencer Park, I'm taking that last dip in the pool, you might want to stop by um, all the other amenities out there, uh, take in some fishing and some paddle boating, maybe take a walk along the nature trails. Uh, there's a few, few signs of fall beginning right. to take place, so uh, definitely do that. And of course, you could always rent a cabin as well, which is a lot of fun for a little family outing. So, for more details on Camp Spencer Park, you can log on to www.cabarrasky.us slash parks. I know we've covered a lot of information, so if you missed a contact uh, number or name, hey, don't worry about it. You can just go to cabarrascounty.us, go to the A through Z category, put in that little search there. You can pretty much find anything you're looking for. If you have problems with it, though, just shoot us an email at channel22 at cabarrascounty.us. And of course, we are always streaming on demand the Bears County website. So please do let your friends and family know that they don't have Time Warner Cable. Or if you just want to check it out when you want to see That's it, right. um, you can just go to our on website, CabarrasCounty.us, click the channel 22 icon on there, click programs, and you will see all of our programs. Scroll down, check them all out. And also, if uh, you want to get information directly at your fingertips, all the great info that we share on the show, plus some more interesting tidbits, uh, please do sign up for our email newsletter, and that is at cabarrascounty.us. Click the Join Our Mailing List link at the top left of any page, and uh, just put in your email address and some bits of information. You'll be set to go, and you'll get this right at your fingertips. You'll have all of the email addresses, all the website addresses right there, ready to go. Well, and we were glad we'd be able to share this kind of like little behind the scenes. You can see here, but I mean, this uh, wind share is amazing. I mean, this is an amazing place of research that goes in here. I mean, it just shows all the diversity of all the things that are here in Cabarrus County. Yeah, I mean, in the motorsports industry definitely is more than just a speedway. There are right. lots of wonderful and, and unique um, businesses that support the motorsports and automotives here in Cabarrus County, and they all definitely are, are an asset to, to our economy. Absolutely. And uh, until next time, think about the fair, and you just have a great week.